G'day everyone, in this video here we're going to be looking at finding the sample space for events without replacement. So this means whenever you select something that you can't select the same thing again unless there's more than one of them. Okay, so with this example here we're looking at the question here. Two letters are chosen at random from the word data without replacement. Okay, so we've got two choices and you can see I've set up a table for part A, list the outcomes in a table. So I've set this up already. Um, hopefully you'll use a ruler. I can't quite use a ruler on this um, very well. So use a ruler to draw up your table. And you've got all the different options here, um, data and data, um, for the first and the second. But just remember you can't use the something that has been selected first already. So I'll go down the D column of the first selection. So we can't choose D again once D is chosen. So you'll notice we can't actually have this option of two Ds, okay? Then here we can have D A, we can have D, probably should have T, probably should have made this a little bit bigger, and then we can also have D A here because it's a different A, okay? It's the second A in data. So that's how the, all the options we can have from the first and the second, you can see I've put all the ones from the first um, and the first selection there and I'll continue doing that. So we'll go down the A column. So here we've got our first selection of A and then the second selection of D at the top. So we can have A, D. So this is the exact same A in the word. So we actually can't choose this twice. So this is across and you'll start to see a pattern here, okay, with the ones you can't choose. Then we've got A and T as our second selection. Well, T is the second selection. Then we've got A as our first selection and A as our second selection. So if there is two A's in it, you can have this A then A. All right, but you'll notice because there's only one D in the choices of each word, you can't have two D's as a choice. All right, but still just remember that this one here can't be chosen. All right, so now I'll go in and fill the rest uh, a little bit quicker. So we've got T and D, then we've got T and A, we can't have T and T, then we've got T and A again, then we've got A and D as our second choice, then A and A, because they're different A's, then we've got a and T and then we can't choose the same A again so that one is out. So this is how you list outcomes into a table. You have all your options on uh, up the top and along the side and then just match up all the different options that can happen but just remember without replacement means if you select it first you can't use it second okay and you'll see that by all the crosses that are there. So now we can use this to find probabilities. So here, find the probability that two letters chosen are both A. So we need to figure out our probability. Just remember, probability is equal to your amount over total. So the total is actually how many choices that we do have here. So if you count them all up, we'll just do that now. We've got three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. So we've got 12 as our total. And we just need to see how many have both A's on it. And hopefully we can see from this that we have two options that have both A's, which is equal to 2 over 12. And we can actually simplify this to 1, 6. And this is the probability that it's going to be A and then A. Okay. Now, part C, find the probability at least one of the letters is an A. So, we're just trying to find the probability that there's A is greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so there's one, at least one A. So we just count every one that has an A in it. So we've got and I'll just do this in yellow. We've got one here, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this here is equal to 10, is our amount. Total is still 12. And then hopefully you realise that this can simplify down again to 5 over 6. So this is how you can use these tables to actually work out probabilities and then answer questions. So hopefully this helps and good luck.